Thank you very much, Dan. I remember uh, working uh, with Diane on the Millennium broadcast on New Year's Eve 2000. Diane had such a joyful time in, in Times Square. It is, uh, whatever you think of New York in general, it is a place where people from around the world gather to express themselves. And so we'll go back there on, on occasion to, to get, some, you really get some sense of the world in Times Square. And President Bush has been on the phone uh, today to a variety of world leaders, um, clearly discussing this with them at the highest possible level. And perhaps they're all as confused as the rest of us are as to what has happened, who perpetrated these acts of terrorism in the United States, and what is to be done in response. Though this is perhaps we're only four hours since this actually happened, and perhaps it is not quite the time to begin to think about the precision of a response, but a response will be required of some magnitude that will mean something from the United States if one is able to ever able to pin down exactly who the perpetrators were. Uh, we told you that the president was in Florida this morning where he'd intended to talk about education today and was coming back to Washington. Um, he's made it as far as Barksdale Air Force Base in Louisiana where he landed um, about an hour and a bit ago um, just before noon Eastern time where he's made a statement to the cameras which we haven't got our hands on yet but the president uh, said that the president uh, said that freedom had been attacked but freedom will be defended and the president is in touch with his national security team and Compton ABC's Ann Compton who covers the White House for us for many years from us tells us that jet fighters uh, jet fighters accompanied Air Force One and that as best we can tell uh, the Air, Air Force One was flying at a particularly high altitude. There are no planes taking off or landing in, or taking off in the United States at the moment with the, with the exception of Air, Swan, Air Force One, though the Federal Aviation Administration says at the moment that 50 known aircraft, this is actually a few minutes old, 50 known aircraft are all in the sky uh, within approximately 50 miles of their destination. So you can feel across the country that aircraft that were in flight are beginning to settle down. They were ordered to settle down by the FAA and to land at the nearest possible airport. And so that has begun to work out. Now, in, in Washington, I think Claire Shipman uh, at, the, at the White House or near it has some further information about the president. Yes, Claire. Well, that's right, Peter. Well, essentially, what we've learned is what he told the pool cameras a few minutes ago, and we're hopefully going to see in just a few minutes, but he said that the, he and this government have taken steps to ensure the functioning of the United States government, that the U.S. military is on high alert at home and abroad. He said he has taken all appropriate security measures to protect Americans. He says freedom itself has been attacked and freedom will be protected. And finally, he also said he will hunt down and punish those responsible for this. Again, we're hoping to see him in person, but as you mentioned, it looks as though this may be the secure place that they've decided on for, um, for the president, at least temporarily, Barksdale Air Force Base in uh, Shreveport, Louisiana. I'd be really curious, Claire, and I realize how difficult it is at the moment, whether or not there's not pressure, political pressure in Washington from the members of the president's own staff and cabinet for him to, to, to show up soon. Uh, in front of the country and assure them beyond his statement that freedom has been attacked and freedom will be defended, of course, because it wasn't defended this morning, well, I think whether or not the president will be seen in command in a more vigorous way. I think you're absolutely right, and I'm sure it's a delicate balance right now between the Secret Service and those who are trying to protect the president, keeping him out of sight and someplace secure, and, and his political advisors who would clearly like to see him make a statement. You saw how quickly he did it this morning, as brief as it was, and certainly a piece of tape that we're going to see in a, in a few minutes, we hope, um, is, not, is not what they would like to see the president uh, doing right now. They would like to see him making something of a more formal statement. But again, it could be a number of hours before the president is back in Washington and prepared to, to talk to us from that forum. Okay, thanks very much, Claire. We'll come back.